so now here is our uh, Linux system uh, which we had already installed yesterday if you have not watched the previous video then please go and watch that video because without this uh, you will not be able to follow us okay uh, if you have already installed and it's fine if you have not installed then you can go for it okay so now uh, what we have to do we have to first of uh, all learn the one of the basic command like uh, ls command but before that you should have some familiarity with this uh, uh, like environment about Linux environment like here you can see the browser web browser mail here you can see the files uh, that just like in our uh, window system there is the uh, this one file explorer similarly here is also that thing okay you can access the different folders documents uh, and then downloads music whatever thing you will download from web browser it will get downloaded in this particular video uh, in this particular sorry uh, download for directory and here is some public uh, folder and here is nothing okay and also you will get the trash videos pictures all these things okay so these are the all things uh, which you will get so now what we have to do we you will, you will need to first of all open up the terminal uh, you can go from uh, here and then you can click on terminal okay but uh, also there is a shortcut for opening the terminal is the control alt t okay so now i will cut this and you can just hit control alt and then t so it will uh, like open uh, one of the terminal so this is our uh, terminal and uh, on this particular thing we will work so let me maximize it i hope it is visible to you okay just wait a minute uh, you yeah, know it should be visible to you guys okay so uh, the first command which we will uh, learn about in this video is the ls command so what is ls command first we will talk about this what is ls command uh, just think about ls ls is nothing but the list the content so we use the ls command to list the contents of a particular directory okay if you are suppose you are in a, a desktop directory so you want to get the, all the what are the files what are the directors in that particular desktop if you want to get it so you will use a simple command that is called as ls command okay so what we will do we will just hit ls okay so now i am in the home folder and where you can see the desktop documents downloads music pictures and all these things okay so what i will do for the purpose of uh, showing you I will just open up the files in my here on my screen I will try to minimize it okay yeah here you can see I am already on the home directory okay from here you can see also uh, I hope it's visible let me minimize the size of this particular window mm, yeah now here you can see uh, this is the home and the same content which uh, we are getting also here okay so this is the uh, main purpose of the command ls so this is the basic uh, work which it does like it just list the content of that particular um, folder or particular directory in which you are present so if i will go in the desktop and here you can see one file has been created desktop so now what we will do we will just uh, here click on open it terminal okay and then now you can see where are you you are in the desktop now here when you will do ls so here also you can see you are getting that particular directory test as it is okay so i hope you got the idea about how the ls works what are the main person purpose behind this okay so now what we will i will talk about with you is the flags or you can see say the options or arguments so there are uh, many options or uh, arguments which we use with the ls command okay so i will use uh, uh, show you the first one is 
l hyphen l that is small l so this is the basically the format or you can say the syntax for the like commands like there will be command name then hyphen then the whatever the option which you want to provide with it so what with this command will basically do hyphen l just stands for the long format okay it will show you the all the files and write in the long format so i will just hit enter and now you will learn a thing like wow what uh, what is this now uh, you will get a bit of confused about it okay so let me tell, tell you about these things like um, these are these are the some permissions okay uh like read write execute uh there will be a separate video on this permission because this is a very important topic okay and then there is a user's username group name this is the file size and the dates and all in the last modification date uh, time so the uh, i had created the one desktop folder at 153 am so that's why it is showing at uh, uh, this time 153 okay so now what i will do uh, i will create a uh, one folder in documents okay and here i will do new folder and here i will give it the name as uh, ls command okay here you can see the documents folder and in that we have a ls command now what i will do i will just again hit the ls hyphen l here now you can see the last modification time of that particular uh, directory document is 217 and here also you can say it's now uh, 280 now okay i hope you got the uh, idea about this uh, hyphen l format like it basically displays you the result in the long format okay so this is the main purpose of this l uh, hyphen l flag now uh, let me talk to you uh, about some other flags like uh, h flag okay so h flag basically uh, does the uh, like it will show you the format in the human readable format okay like as you can see this is a 4096 you will not get what is this basically it is the file size okay and uh, if i will do hyphen h then you will get uh, some difference uh let me create one more terminal so that uh, you can differentiate between uh, both the result okay minimize it uh, okay my battery is uh, low okay now what i will do here ls hyphen l hyphen h okay we can use the separate uh, as a separate flag or we can just combine both uh, together i will show you after this okay don't worry about it so here now you can see this is showing me the human readable format what is 36 it is 36 kb and then 4 kb 4 kb 4 kb this is the size of all uh, like uh, directories and there is uh, some uh, basic concept about it i will tell you later uh, in that particular video when we will come across with the more description about these things like it is basically related to the hard links of soft link kind of concept in linux okay so as this is a beginner purpose video so we will not cover this uh, at this time otherwise you will get confused okay so uh, we I had used ls hyphen l hyphen h okay so now what I will do I'll just combine both things okay hyphen l h as you can see there will be no difference and it will also no uh, uh, no like it will also not provide me like this command is basically like uh, unvalid or anything else so you can see we can write like this also or we can write like this also so now uh, one more command you will need now the clear command what this command will do i hope you guessed it right this will just uh, clear all the this screen okay i will just hit enter and yeah boom you got clear okay now uh, let to move about some other flags uh, which we will use the, the simple flag is also the a flag what it does you will uh, understand like it will list all the files and directory okay uh, the hidden files also it will show us and here you can see we are getting the this bash history logout bash rc the file all these files which we are uh, we are getting here okay now let me show you here also so you will get an idea about it how it's working you can go here and it should be somewhere like hidden files uh, yeah here you can see the show hidden files is unchecked 
now we will check it and then yeah boom you can see the same result as we have bash rc and here is also the dot bash rc file and other some files which are present here also okay so for now i am again unchecking it so it should be simple okay so now uh, we can combine the hyphen l option with this also like al we are getting the same thing but what in the long format okay like this is the same permissions uh, numbers some kind of and the uh, ayush ayush this is the user element group and root root is the root user who uh, like uh, we will get uh, about this what is root and all these things when you when we will learn about the user creation things in linux okay so uh, i hope you got it the hyphen l option also okay uh, let me tell you one more uh, flag which are important here uh, like uh, hyphen ld okay uh, what we will do in this uh, when we will uh, combine the l with d directory d stands for directory and want to get the details of the let's uh, get documents directory uh, yeah now here we can see you you are getting the details for, for a specific directory that is documents okay and here is the same thing that we were getting earlier like uh, uh, you can match it with it like documents and here also you can see the permissions users group size and the last modification time okay this is the ld so these are the some basic uh, uh, flags which you can use with the ls command okay and uh, that's all for today also if you want more uh, like uh, practice on it you can go here also on uh, tryhackme.com like this is a platform on which there is a linux uh, uh, tutorials or something you can say uh, uh, wait a minute uh, yeah, I think I got it here um, in the learn that should be in the learning path or somewhere else yeah linux fundamentals okay if you want a uh, more uh, in-depth knowledge or you want to practice some um, your skills then you can go on this platform also okay so uh, that's all for today and i hope uh, you understood about the ls command if you they see it linux is just like uh, about your practice if you do more practice you will get more family familiar with it like uh, uh, like when i had a study it was like uh, what is this thing and what is this terminal i was get scared of this terminal. but when you start practicing with it when you play with this uh, then you will get an idea about oh yes uh, you can understand it okay so that's all for today and uh, please like share and subscribe our channel and hit a like button if you like this okay so thank you for watching and we will meet you in the next video thank you thank you so much